questions about markets and morals affect all of us. Um, in every aspect of our life, we run into these questions all the time when we're making a purchase, when we're deciding whom to vote for, for president, right? When we're deciding what to read or even what career to go into. Some of these questions are going to be really relevant for us as we, as we think about this. Of course, many people, for very good reasons, see markets and free markets as a very good thing. They promote the values of liberty, the values of economic efficiency, are seen in many ways as the best way of promoting economic prosperity for all. And yet, at least since the 2008 recession, we're also seeing a lot of people in this country and around the world questioning whether markets are functioning in a way that is, in fact, ensuring economic prosperity for everyone. We're also interested in exploring some questions about particular markets and, in fact, what things belong in the market. And so you might think about things like addictive drugs, right? Many um, states in our country now are starting to legalize or decriminalize uh, addictive drugs. But there's a lot of controversy about that. Do drugs belong in the market? Think about the sale of human organs, right? Some people advocate a kidney market. Uh, but again, many people say that's terrible. You shouldn't pay for organs. Uh, sex, prostitution. So we're gonna, some of our topics this year are going to examine that issue. What things do and do not belong in the market. A third issue that we wanna look at is the issue of corporate and consumer obligations in the market. So there's been a recent movement toward uh, CSR or corporate social responsibility, this idea that corporations have an obligation to do more than just maximize their profit within the constraints of law, but to go beyond it and to promote certain social goods. Some people think that they do have these obligations. Others think actually that will be bringing corporations into areas of our social life that they really don't belong. So that's one question about corporations, but then there's interesting questions about consumer obligations as well. Do we have a moral obligation not to purchase um, goods at corporations that are engaged in morally problematic practices? How much information do we need to find out about the goods and services that we're purchasing to make sure that there's no bad practices in the background of the production of these goods? Uh, and so all of these topics are going to be on the agenda this year as we spend the whole year looking at, at a variety of issues about markets and morals. No matter what field you're in at this university, no matter what you're thinking about doing in your life, you're going to be able to find something of value in the talks and conferences that we have this year.